Hello everyone, my name is Walter, and today we will begin our series of video tutorials on migrating to Google Apps. Google Apps is a web-based office suite developed by Google that provides such functions as email, calendaring, and document management, as well as many other added features. Once you've decided to make the transition to Google Apps, the first step is to plan the migration of the existing email information. There are several options available, so let's take a look. When planning your migration process, there are two general approaches to take, one of which is a server-side migration, which allows for all the existing email data to be transferred between servers without any intervention from the users. The other approach is a client-side migration, which involves transferring each individual user's data from the existing system to Google Apps. There are several tools available for each approach, and once you have decided on a migration path, we will move forward into demonstrating how to prepare your Google Apps domain for the migration process. A server-side migration is an option for those of you using an IMAP, Microsoft Exchange, or Lotus Notes system. Google provides mechanisms that allow for your existing system to tie directly into your Google Apps domain and transfer all the data behind the scenes. Many administrators prefer this type of migration because it requires no intervention by the end users. We will look more closely at each one of these migration tools in subsequent episodes. For individual client-side migrations, there are several tools available. The Google Mail Fetcher is a feature built directly into the Google Mail interface which allows for one or more existing mail accounts to get pulled directly into the Google Apps account. This feature uses POP or Post Office Protocol to query the existing accounts and to pull the mail over into the Google Apps account. The Google Mail Uploader is another option which allows for mail stored in a mail client such as Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Express, or Mozilla Thunderbird to be automatically uploaded to the Google Apps mailbox. Finally, there is the Google Apps Sync plugin from Microsoft Outlook. This tool not only migrates email, but calendars and contacts as well. This is a complete solution for Microsoft Outlook users. Now we are going to take a look at the changes that need to be made within your Google Apps domain to prepare for these various migrations. First, let's look at server-side migrations. The first thing you need to do is log in to your Google Apps control panel for your domain. Once at the control panel, you're going to want to select Advanced Tools. For an IMAP migration, you need to select the option to begin an IMAP migration. This will begin a process that we will look at more closely in a later episode. For Exchange and Lotus Notes migrations, you want to enable the Email Migration API for your users of your domain. If you're performing an Exchange migration, you must also enable the two-legged OAuth authentication option, which is also located under Advanced Tools. This option allows for extended authentication abilities, which is used by the Exchange Migration tool. Now that the domain is prepared, we can move on to the specific procedure for your particular server-side migration. Now let's look at the settings for client-side migrations. The first thing you need to do is to ensure that you've created a mailbox for each user you intend to migrate. This can be done from the Users and Groups page of the Google Apps Control Panel. Also, want to make sure that you've enabled the Email Migration API. Now, in addition to the API, you also want to verify a few more settings in your domain. If you want calendaring enabled in your Google Apps domain, and you want to be able to migrate your calendar information, you want to ensure that the calendar service is active for your domain. This option is used by the Google Apps Sync for Microsoft Outlook to sync your existing calendar information to your Google Apps domain. Another option you want to ensure is enabled if you wish to use the Global Access List Generator, which allows for an autocomplete option within Microsoft Outlook, you want to make sure that the provisioning API is enabled within the control panel. You can find this option under Users and Groups, Settings, and Enable Provisioning API. 
The final stage in preparing your domain for migration to Google Apps is to change the mail exchanger or MX records to point to Google's email servers. These records are responsible for routing new incoming mail to the proper email server. This change needs to be made at the time of the migration. To make this change, you need to log in or contact your DNS provider. Once you have access to your MX records, you need to replace your existing records with the list provided below. Please note that each entry must be associated with the proper priority to ensure proper mail delivery. Once this change is made, it can take up to 48 hours for the change to propagate throughout the internet. With this change complete, you are now ready to begin migrating your domain and all of its users to the new Google Apps domain. Thank you for joining me, and if you found this helpful, please take a look at the other helpful tutorials provided by Nextara.